I started lifting weights when I was 15 years old. After 10 years, I looked like this. I even decided to do a men's physique competition to show off all my years of progress. After this period, I decided to start testosterone replacement therapy. One of the things that testosterone does in the body is play a key role in development of male reproductive tissue. It has anabolic effects, including growth in muscle mass and strength. So the question is, how much muscle did I gain during a period? Well, I went from looking like this to looking like this within a period of about one year. Even though I got great physical results, I noticed that I started feeling less and less satisfied with my physique. Knowing that I was taking hormones to help me, it did not feel like I was doing it on my own power anymore. I was looking back at the days that I was natural and I started to regret my decision. I decided to quit. Mergin has decided to quit taking HRT. Don't make the same mistake. It was tough. My energy was very low. I lost my sex drive and going to the gym was a struggle every day. Slowly but surely, I started to feel better again. It's six months later now, and my test levels have successfully recovered. But how did quitting really affect my physique? So on my way to the gym, guys, sipping on a pre-workout. Last couple of workouts I showed you were calisthenics workout, but today I'm gonna show you something different, right? And I'm also gonna show you a physique update. But first, we gotta get that bump. Let's go. So guys, today is gonna to be a bodybuilding workout. This is what I do once a week, upper body, and I, yesterday I did uh, legs. So today we're gonna to start off with the bench press, all right? We're gonna see how much I can do now. I am uh, deep into my bulk since I recovered. I've been uh, trying to gain muscle, I've been eating more food, and my bench has slowly been going up again. So what was my peak bench like? You guys are wondering, well, maybe, maybe you're not wondering, I'm gonna tell you anyway. Okay, during TRT, uh, my peak bench was like 130, for three reps, like no failure. And I think I did 120 for like around eight or, or eight or nine reps, right? Now peak bench, uh, peak natty, my bench press, when I was like pretty heavy, pretty chubby as well, much chubbier than on TRT. Had a lot of body fat, but I was also pretty strong. Like my peak bench natty used to be 120 for five reps. That was my absolute peak. So now I'm on, on 110, so I'm, I'm not there yet. We're still making gains, I'm gonna try this. Uh, for five reps today, and I hope I can make it happen. I'm gonna make it happen. Let's go. So I'm pretty happy with that, man. During my recovery period, when I just quit TRT, I was like, I, I did 100 kgs, I was trying to hold on to it, but the reps started decreasing every week. And then at some point, I did 100 for five reps, right? That was, that was like my lowest point during recovery. So I've already gained 10 kg. It's been a few months, but I've gained 10 kgs on the bench. And I'm, I, I notice that every single week, I'm like gaining one rep again, you know? So I'm, uh, I'm happy with the progress. It's fun, and especially combining this with the calisthenics, I'm uh, really enjoying it. Second exercise for chest, I'm gonna do a decline chest press machine. This is not one that I do every single week, because uh, I got trained in different gyms, so sometimes, you know, in one gym, I like to try out a certain machine or a certain lift, and, you know, back in the day, I used to be very strict with this, like my workouts would be the exact same every single time, and it's, it's what pro what's probably best for making progress, uh, but as far as, you know, making it fun for myself, which I think, it's really important, especially now after all these years. And after I realized that, you know, even on TRT, just doing the same thing every time, it can get boring as well, you know? So I, I wanna make it as much fun for me as possible. So, you know, I enjoy progressing on the bench, but then I also enjoy some isolation lifts, etc. like doing some different stuff each time, right? To, to make it fun. I'm just chasing the pump with this. And then uh, I do like one compound for each muscle group to make sure I make the progress. Nice machine though because 
The hands, they work separately from each other. So you don't get this balance. So for back doing one horizontal pull, one vertical pull, I'm doing machines on both. And that is because I do a bunch of pull-ups, right? And like body weight, I'm out of breath during a bodybuilding session. This is a bad sign. I, uh, I have been skipping a little bit of my cardio because I started doing some functional training, some calisthenics, and I was like, well, Moran, this is enough cardio. But now I think I need to actually uh, step my game up again and do some uh, high intensity interval training. Next up, guys, moving on to shoulders. Now guess which body part has suffered the most since quitting testosterone? My shoulders, right? Uh, they had that crazy 3D look. I'm still trying to maintain it somewhat. I feel like I've always had like decently good shoulder genetics, but you can definitely tell that they're not as, as like round and, and hard and yeah, defined as they were. But that's why we're doing extra side raises, okay? To grow those side delts. And I do, you know, a lot of overhead presses, well, uh, handstands, which gimmicks it. And I try to do the handstand push-up, so I do a lot of those a week, like uh, four times a week. So on this day, I just isolate the shoulders. But work on that aesthetic look and get it back naturally. Let's go. Who is it? Man needs a spotter. Let's go. Hey, easy. Easy. Let's go. Go. Oh. Right. Yeah, let's go. Go, on, go. On. One more, let's go. Go on, go on! Ah. Ah. Yeah, man, I'm myself. Holy shit. Ik zei niks, nada. <laughs> Dat is wel sick, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hush. Oh, you. Woo. Damn. Some of you guys know who this is. If you know, comment down below. I'm not even gonna say it. Gonna Some of you have anything. to comment, okay? What this man did for me, you have to comment. In, in they don't know me this big. <laughs> but they don't remember him this big. You were a lot smaller back then. I was a lot smaller. Yeah. I was uh, competing in, two, in the men's physique class and now we are going for the classic. It has always been a dream. That's what we are going for. You will get it, man. I'll be there on the first row. I keep following him. All right, so Stewie has followed my journey and been part of it for, for many, many years as far as training. What do you think about my TRT physique versus my physique now? Well, I just thought that when I saw him, it still looks like he is on TRT, but I know he is off and at the beginning, the first weeks, he did downgrade a little bit in hardness, in ma uh, mass, size. He also told me that he lost a little bit the, the fun of training. And now he is uh, training like five or six weeks straight. I see him like almost five times a day, uh, a week here. <laughs> a day that would be crazy. <laughs> Next question. When do you, like you've seen my natty peak physique also. Yeah. When do you think I'll be back at the natty peak that I was? I think you will even look better than before because I, I'm convinced that your natural limit is now a little bit higher because you have been on TRT. You think so? I think I, yeah. because, I've heard more people say because I, uh, I experienced the same thing. Okay. Even though that you think now that it isn't <laughs> no, I don't that way. Like, I don't feel like but, that now. But, we'll, but we'll you will see. see it. We will see. Just keep pushing yourself and you will see it. It's good. I'm, I'm happy with my size now. I have to say. It's really and good. I'm making gains again. And it's really good. I'm bulking up. You know. And the most important thing of all you'll find your passion back. That's right. So that's, that's right. what you have been lost for, I think, several months. Yeah. And now you're finally back in the game. Back in the game, man. And I'd love to see that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so now, guys, physique update. After quitting TRT, it's over six months right now. This is what the current shape looks like. 
at around 86 kgs. So keep in mind, my peak weight during TRT at about the same level of body fat was like 91, 92 kgs. And when I was like super shredded on it, I was still like 88 kgs. And normally when I'm really shredded, I'm like 81, 82 kgs. So that's a difference of about five to six kgs. Now keep in mind also water weight plays a big part. Once I quit TRT, my face looked more slim directly. So uh, that also plays a part. This is the shape, currently bulking, but the abs are still, you know, they're somewhat visible for sure. So um, lean bulk is what it, what it is. I think main difference you can tell is the shoulders, as I already mentioned, less 3D, less hard, but I'm sure once I cut down again and get super shredded, um, I'll be tight again, just in a different way, right? That's it, man. As I said, I'm pretty happy with, uh, with the gains, pretty happy with how it's going, and especially with how I'm feeling. As Stewie also said, I found my passion back, and that's, at the end of the day, what it's all about, man. So, uh, I'm happy. And we got a couple of weeks left during this bulk. We're gonna finish it off strong with a specific challenge, so stay tuned for that video, because it's gonna be pretty epic. I hope, maybe not. For me, it's not gonna be epic. For you guys, it's gonna be epic. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please comment down below, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Looking back again. I can get it, I can make it, yeah, I know it, and I'm never looking back again. Yeah, never looking back again. I can get it, I can make it.